Hey what's up everyone so today we are going to compare the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 up against the Apple Watch Series 6. We will talk about the hardware, features, price and in the last I will give my personal opinion. But first of all let's do a boot up speed test so 3, 2, 1, go. I know we don't restart our smartwatches each day but it will help us to get an idea about performance as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is now running on different operating system which is Wear OS from Google and also it has the latest 5 nanometer chipset called Exynos W920 while on the Apple Watch we have Apple Design S6 processor. The Galaxy Watch 4 has 1.5 GB of RAM with 16 GB of internal storage while the Apple Watch has 1 GB of RAM with 32 GB of internal storage. Here Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 started up first and the Apple Watch is still booting up. So starting off with the build quality, the Galaxy Watch 4 in this 44mm option comes with an aluminum case and a rubber strap, while the Apple Watch has an aluminum frame as well with this sporty rubber band. And by the way comparison is between the base models. And of course you can try out the Apple Watch stainless steel version, but it comes with a hefty price tag. While here the Galaxy Watch 4 with this aluminum frame will cost you around 279 US dollars and 350 US dollars if you want to try out the classic 46 mm model with stainless steel frame. On the other hand, Apple Watch with this aluminum frame is still present around 400 dollars for the 44 mm model. Both smartwatches are IP68 dust and water resistant up to 50 meters of depth. Both have glass on the back with wireless charging capabilities and both offer about the same one and a half to two days of battery life while Apple Watch sometimes offer a bit less battery life of just one day but it really depends on how you use the watch. Now talking about the front, Galaxy Watch 4 has a 1.4 inch circular AMOLED display while the Apple Watch has a rectangular 1.7 inch OLED display and both have always a display feature that is pretty bright out in the daylight. Pixel density on both watches is about the same and that is 330 pixels per inch. Apple Watch has a sapphire crystal display to protect it from scratches, while Galaxy Watch 4 has Corning Gorilla Glass DX+. Next moving on to features, both smartwatches are really well packed with a lot of things. Talking about health features, we have a continuous heart rate monitoring sensor on both smartwatches and they are really neck and neck when it comes to actual results. Both have blood oxygen and ECG feature but these features depend on your country so make sure you check out if they are available in your region or not. The Galaxy Watch 4 has two additional features. One is blood pressure monitoring and if you calibrate it well the results are quite close to a real cuff based BP apparatus. The second feature is the BIS sensor that can help you to calculate your BMI, body fat and water. About its accuracy, The Verge has written a great article that you can check out via the link down in the description. But during my testing, it was quite accurate and just few points off from the actual reading. Plus now you can also try out snow detection on your Galaxy Watch 4. Rest on both smartwatches we have same set of features like sleep tracking and plenty of workout modes which turn on automatically few minutes later after an activity. Both offer walkie talkie feature which I barely use and Galaxy Watch 4 now finally has decent collection of apps that you can install from the Google Play Store like YouTube Music, Spotify, Uber and many more while the Apple Watch already has all that great stuff from the App Store. One place where Apple Watch is really falling behind is the ability to customize it. On Apple Watch, lack of third party watch faces makes it really boring while on the Galaxy Watch 4, thousands of watch faces are available on the Play Store, Facer and Watchmaker. Coming on to the price. Galaxy Watch 4 is now available for 279 US dollars for the 44mm GPS model, while the Watch Series 6 is available for around 400 dollars for the 44mm GPS model. You can even try out the classic 4 in 46mm dial and still you are left with some money that you can use to buy watch bands for the Galaxy Watch 4. So here the Galaxy Watch 4 is giving us a better value for money. Finally talking about my personal opinion, Galaxy Watch 4 is the best smartwatch that you can buy right now if you have an Android phone. Starting with the Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung has ended the ability to pair their latest smartwatch to an iPhone. So it is useless to buy Galaxy Watch 4 with an iPhone, while Apple Watch already works with an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, Apple Watch is for you. 
and if you have an Android phone, then it is finally the time to try out the best Wear OS smartwatch from Google and Samsung. With that being said, that was about it for today's episode and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.